Hi, I'm Dr. Manish Rungta. I uh, wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, myself and, and the area of gastroenterology that I have interest in. Um, I've completed my training at the Baylor College of Medicine in 2004, enjoyed Bay gastroenterology thereafter. Um, I have area, uh, interest in all areas of gastroenterology, uh, including colon cancer screening, acid reflux, and perform upper endoscopy and colonoscopy for those procedures. But today I'd like to talk to you a little bit more detail about um, therapeutic endoscopy. I do procedures called ERCP, which uh, helps to evaluate for bile duct disease and pancreatic disease, including bile duct stones and other pancreatic disorders. Um, and I would also like to, in more detail, uh, talk about endoscopic ultrasound. That is one of the newer procedures that uh, has come in the realm of gastroenterology over the past few years. And it is uh, similar to an upper endoscopy, but has an ultrasound probe attached to it. That lets us look under ultrasound guidance, the inner linings of various gastrointestinal organs, such as the esophagus, stomach, pancreas, gallbladder, liver, rectum. And one of the most useful tools for endoscopic ultrasound is staging of and diagnosis of cancers. It is similar, like I said, to an upper endoscopy where a flexible tube is uh, inserted through the mouth into the stomach and uh, ultrasound imaging is then obtained. It becomes particularly useful for staging of esophageal and stomach cancer. Diagnosis of pancreatic cancer, which is one of the more deadly cancers that we deal with, and diagnosis by biopsy is very cumbersome by other mortalities, as well as staging for rectal cancer. This uh, endoscopic ultrasound procedure has tremendously helped uh, the cancer specialist, oncologist, and surgeons to guide in the treatment of the various cancers that they deal with and appropriate chemotherapy as well as surgical treatment.